Does my living need a new big TV set or a small one? I love big screens. Can I place a 90 inch TV on a 10 feet deep space? Choosing the right TV for your space can become a bit of a hassle if you don't understand the basics for optimum eye comfort and also some design rules. I'm Patricia and this is the Designer 101. and soothing about having the perfect TV set on your TV room or entertainment room. This is going to be a space that we use so often and where we'll spend an important amount of time, whether it is to watch a movie or binge watch a TV series or the occasional sports game event. You name it. Throw in your comfy socks, a fluffy pillow, and glass of red, and some appetizers accompanied by your favorite show, that's the dream. Choosing the right TV is not about the brand or the quality of the image or the new features on your smart TV, but mostly it is about how to make that perfect combination and finding that sweet spot that makes the whole room a crowd pleaser and a comfort machine. This, by no means, is a guide to choose a particular TV over another. Instead, we'll discuss the basics on any TV entertainment center. First and foremost, as per so many things, size does matter. And in this case, we'll be using a simple distance size rule that follows the ergonomics as a guideline. The less distance, the smaller the screen. This has a lot to do with the feeling degrees of the field of vision. In other words, how much screen area will be for you to watch without any discomfort. As a simple example, remember that feeling you get if you sit in the very first row when you go to the movies? Yes, that awkward and uncomfortable sit where you have to move your head from right to left in order to follow the action on the screen. That very same experience must be avoided. We want to achieve the comfort and ease you get if you sit in the middle of the theater, not too high, not too low, but just in the very center of the room. Say you have a 55 inch TV and you want that same movie theater experience. Well, then you'll need at least five and a half feet or 107 meters distance from the screen in order to get that 40 degrees angle of field of vision, also known as the movie theater field degree. The rule is extremely simple. Just divide by tenfold the screen size of your TV in order to get the distance you'll need to sit from your screen. This rule will apply only to visual comfort, not to screen resolution comfort. However, the screen resolution nowadays is nothing to worry about since most TV are 4K now or at least or at least 1080p capable, so the human eye can see details and enjoy a beautiful picture at a much closer distance. Check out this resource page for more information on the subject. Now, apart from the distance to the TV from your seat, there's another measure to consider and there is the height. Your screen cannot be located at a great height if you're going to be sitting comfortably on a sofa. Your neck will suffer and the experience will be terrible. So, as a rule of thumb, we'll use the height of your eyes as a reference if you're sitting on a chair or sofa. This means that you'll need to measure the distance from the floor to your eyes once in a sitting position and that will be the height from the floor to the center of the screen of your TV. Of course, you can vary this height a little bit if needed, but not too much since it will create discomfort. And as I said, this will only apply for when you're sitting. If you're laying down on your bed, this rule won't apply, but that's a whole different video. As a final note, remember the budget always. Smart TVs nowadays can go as pricey as it gets. In our next video, we'll talk about creating the perfect home theater space for those of you who love to spend more time in a comfy and relaxing space. So tell me, do these guidelines help you with your decision? Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you feel is missing. I hope you like this video and please subscribe for more. See you next time.